Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and we are up to episode number 19 of our playthrough as the Imperial Japanese Navy on Killerfish Games War on the Sea. We do have the Tokyo Express mod installed, so it adds quite a bit to the game. And at the end of the last episode, I mentioned um, sending my fleets out to do some ship hunting. I uh, guess you could consider that a radio order from Yamamoto to his fleet commanders. And apparently, Hal Holbrook and his staff of smelly codebreakers picked up on that and decided to oblige us. Five ships. Maybe a battleship. I-11 is in close proximity, so we are going to send them up and hopefully they can engage. Let's see what we can make happen here. Oh, they're going away. That's not good. Wait, nope. All right, I-11 has... I'm going to ignore that for now, see if we can get a little closer. And I'd say that's close enough. All right, I-11. <clears throat> Four o'clock in the morning. The general alarm bell does not sound. Because I don't think that would be a very good idea on a submarine. It's dead-ass dark, except for some moonlight. What do we have here? All right, they are coming from this direction, so we are going to bump up our speed to full. Let's take a look and see if we can even see them. How far out are they? 15,000 yards, all right. Not seeing anything through the scope. Doesn't mean anything though. Let's cheat and take a look. Really hoping we got ourselves a battleship here. Oh, well, that's a beastie looking thing. That is not a battleship. Neither is that. Not a bad target. Supply ship. Ah, no battleship for me. Let's see what we have in what position here. Closest to us would be this cruiser. Number four being hmm. I don't want to hit this cruiser and then one of these supply ships. Just a matter of which one. Uh if I were to guess I'd say they're heading for Guadalcanal. Um This could uh, put a hamper on our plans to reduce that airfield down. Alright, so number one, let's identify her. Ah, I wish I could see the flag on it. American flag. Maybe it is a battleship. Light battleship, maybe? Light battleship, Tennessee class. I don't think there is such a thing as a light battleship. What's this here? Oh, that would be a cruiser, so let's switch on over to the cruisers. Stacks in tight. One down, New Orleans. There we go. Let's uh, target and identify. They're still quite a ways out, so... We've got time. Uh, 
kind of looks like one of the uh, stock. C3 class merchant. Okay. Alright, what are we looking at for torpedoes? We've got 12. So we're going to launch four. Uh, no, I'm half tempted to target the second cruiser. Because if I fire on the New Orleans hit, my guess is everyone else is going to turn this way. So if I target the second cruiser and fire on them, even if they miss, there's a moderate chance that it could my torpedoes could hit something else. Let's uh, identify this second cruiser. Uh, kind of looks like a Brooklyn. Would say it is a Brooklyn. And also, if we fire on the Brooklyn and the New Orleans, the torpedoes that are intended for the Brooklyn may hit the New Orleans. But for now, we're going to stick with the New Orleans. Let's get rid of you. Start targeting New Orleans. Get that solution built up. I think we're on a pretty good intercept course. But we're not getting much of a solution. That kind of sucks. Speed things up. We're not getting any solution whatsoever. Well, that's uh, discouraging. There we go. There's a little bit of a solution starting to build. Of course, we are 10,000 yards out, so it may take a little bit of time to build that solution up. If not, then we can always do some manual firing. Got two destroyer escorts on their uh, in the van on their forward flank. The rest is cargo ships. Solution is building ever so slowly. Uh, out of curiosity, the range on our torpedoes would be 13,000 yards for the Type 95. Not gonna fire on anyone at 13,000 yards. We may actually have to adjust our course to uh, get out in front of them a little bit. I don't want to be firing and then have the torpedoes have to uh, chase them. Not a bad looking ship. Alright, so we are coming down to six thousand yards. Let's see what our solution is, thirty percent. Four on a three degree spread. Let's make sure our scope's up. Oh, there it is. Right above the water. Radar would be awesome. Forty seven hundred yards. All right. Fire four on the New Orleans. Let them get away.
Okay. We've only got two available. Stop targeting New Orleans. A horrible, horrible solution. Retarget Brooklyn. Actually, let's retarget the C3. Gotta be so exciting to sit there and watch when you can barely see. They don't look bad. 35% on the C3. We're gonna go with manual fire. Why not? Fire. Put this right through the center of the group. Okay, turn. By the way, we're going to leave our scope up for now so we don't lose sight of them. And like I said, my hopes are they will turn and I'll get something with these other two torpedoes. Wish you could click on the torpedoes and follow their path. So hard to see. But we'll keep it here for now. That spread's looking decent. This one will probably miss everything in sight unless we get lucky. Okay. Like we should be getting fairly close with these torpedoes. There's one dud, and the rest missed. Well, that was disappointing, but the Brooklyn may catch some. It's like uh, she's turning, hopefully. Uh, you never know. New Orleans doesn't appear to have too much damage. Here comes their... Their uh, destroyer escorts in on us. Oh, nice. Two hits on the Brooklyn, accidentally. Let's see what these two can do. These not looking bad. We may get lucky with this one, unless they skirt right in between them. This one looks like it might be the one that's going to hit. And who knows, we might get lucky. It is an oiler after all, so lots of flammable stuff on an oiler. I think they're going to dodge it though, unless they catch it right on the stern tell where the torpedoes are when it's so dark. Yeah, they missed. Alright. Not really sure how deep it is here, so we're only going to go down to... That would be nice. Come on, keep turning. Nope. Uh, we'll go down to 100 
160 feet. Why not? Let's click on it, see if we can see the bottom anywhere. That should be good. Rig for silent running. Let's check the damages, see how we did. Uh, moderate damage, moderate flooding on the New Orleans. Uh, heavy and heavy on the Brooklyn, so... Brooklyn is a little worse for wear. Let's target her and see... Uh, she's down to seven knots. Or if I fired that this torpedo, we got one available. Hmm. That would give away my position pretty seriously, though. I kind of don't want to lose my sub. Six torpedoes available. We can always disengage and then uh, hopefully re-engage re at a later date. How's the New Orleans doing in terms of speed? 28 knots. Brooklyn's only at 7 knots. It's very tempting to launch uh, one more fish at her. Kind of put it out this way. See if we can uh, can't get her. She's traveling in a fairly consistent line. Listing pretty bad. Now we're starting to lose the ships now because we're underwater. Let's take a look and see if any of these destroyers are uh, close to us. I'm not seeing them. Uh, we'll give them about 30 seconds to find us. Just to be fair. There's uh, the burning Brooklyn out there. Looks like our fires are spreading. Hmm. Periscoped up. I can't resist. Six thousand yards out. Okay, never mind. And these destroyers are looking in the wrong direction, so we're just going to get out of here and say goodbye to the Brooklyn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I-5 or I-11. This is your lucky day. One CV, two CLs, eight ships, slow. Florida Islands is uh, burning again. Not sure uh, why, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can catch up with them. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Going to tactical. All right. There they are right there. Look at that. This may be the uh, same group that we just encountered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they lied to me. So we'll go through the process again. Let's have you maneuver up. Maybe not that much. They're 8,000 yards out right now. Oh, 
We do only have six torpedoes left, so... Let's check what the damages are on the uh, New Orleans. Moderate and moderate. Why not? We will go all out on a three degree spread. Oh, they're turning already. That's interesting. At least this one ship is. <laughs> There's the destroyer. I don't know where they're going, but they are peeling off. We got this destroyer here that's just uh, kind of cruising along. So far, nobody has uh, maneuvered except for this one destroyer, and that's probably because she's behind all these slow merchants, and she wants to get up front. Not sure why she switched positions, but it is what it is. Now, my plan for this convoy going forward, uh, hopefully we can get rid of the New Orleans with the I-11. And uh, 442 in the morning, air operations are going to be available very soon. So we are going to be sending everything we have after the supply convoy from everywhere. But for now, we've got ourselves in New Orleans to sink. Get a little closer. I want to get into... I want to say about 5,000 yards... Speed you up a little bit. Only a 29% solution. I'm getting a little twitchy here, so turn that manual fire off. All six away. See how we do. I'm gonna break and probably head like that. We'll leave our scope up for now. Torpedoes are moving in. Fairly good chance that they're gonna. I was gonna say it's fairly good chance they're gonna miss, but they they don't look too bad. All right, let's see what we have. One hit, two hits. Well, two out of six isn't really all that good. Of course, for the 35% solution, what do you expect? Uh, any chance they may run into anything else? Probably not. Let's check the damages. Critical and critical. Uh, we're going to go... I don't think we have any more torpedoes. Yet. We are fresh out of torpedoes. So I-11, you've done a very good job. Get your scope down. Rig for silent running. And go down to 150 feet. One more torpedo, and this would have been a guaranteed kill, but kind of a little worried that it they're not gonna scuttle her. Uh, we'll give them a couple seconds to uh, chase us with the subs, or with the uh, destroyers. Doesn't really look like they are doing that. The New Orleans is now sinking, so... 
we can find her. May already be gone. There she is over there. Click New Orleans. Down for the count. So I mentioned once air operations was available, we were going to send everything that we have after this convoy. Uh, I-11 is making its way out to rearm. Um, in terms of air power that can reach them quickly, uh, hopefully... Zuiho can get some planes up on them. Torpedo bombers, 250, 85. So we're going to launch our zeros first. Have them come out here and escort the um, dive bombers. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Okay. Okay. Let's get some Mavises up. Gonna take them a while to get down there. We'll go with torpedoes. get Nels up. We will go with bombs on the Nels. Just get them in there right now. They do have bombs so they can do some damage. And then from Florida Islands, uh, one Mavis. Okay. So one Mavis it is from Florida Islands. Uh, we do have Heavy Strike Group 1 that's also moving into the area. Uh, Buka, I don't think you can launch yet. Nope. You can launch. Let's drop all our bombs for them. Have them escort Task Force 1. What I was going to do with the Zeros was just have them escort the uh, bombers in. But I forgot that the uh, mod changes some of the wait time for after you launch your Zeros. So, okay, our Mavis, our individual single Mavis, is going to move in on the attack. My primary target is going to be. The cargo ships. Okay, Shortland Islands is ready to launch. Uh, not going to bother right now. How long? 0.5 hours. Well, these zeros can do some damage as well. Uh, like I said, cargo ships are going to be the primary target. because uh, I don't care about fuel or engineering or supplies even. But troops, I do not want them to land troops. So you, with your one or two torpedoes, hit the deck. There they are right there. It's nice that they put me right over top of them. So we're going to have you come out. And then back. Hopefully I don't get shot down before they get the chance to get down to altitude.
All right, let's pick our target. Definitely not the destroyer. You look like a pretty good target. I wonder why they got the destroyers out in the rear. Yeah, we're going to target you. See how you're doing. What's your altitude? 1100 feet. Have you run right up their side? Does look like they're going for Florida Island, so I want to make sure they do not put any troops on Florida Islands. You saw my uh, American campaign, you know, their trickiness was uh, definitely a pain in the ass to deal with. They just kept taking bases after bases after bases. All right. Attack. Come on, Mavis. You can do it. Don't get shot down. You are our first line of defense. So going forward, coming in... We are probably looking at... Looks like a lot of oilers. No. Here's this guy. We'll just pick him off one at a time. How's that? All right. Mavis. Turn around. Get out as fast as you can. And they are maneuvering. Here come our torpedoes. Okay, so much for the Mavis. Let's hope this is worth it. Looking good, looking good. Two hits. Check the damages. Heavy and heavy. Unless she has a cargo explosion or... Massive fire breakout. I don't think that was going to be enough. But we have managed to damage one of them, so... Give them a little bit of time. Looks like... Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. I wasn't expecting her to sink. Alright, so you... Uh, I'm just trying to pick my next target here. These all look like oilers. We do have I-11 in here, so if we wanted to get stupid with it, we could always just, you know, surface and attack them with our deck gun, but I'm not going to do that. Roofs were intercepted by a plane. They do have a bomb, so I'm going to send them in on the attack. Uh, if they spot the enemy, them, right there. So, who do I want to attack? Probably you. Why not? Got I-11 out here still. I don't think this roof's going to do much damage, but... Especially after they get shot down. Okay. Anyway, we got our zeros moving in here. We've got Kate moving in. Let's uh, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find them before they put anything on. God damn it. Florida Islands. If they haven't already. They got to be in this area somewhere, so... They're on the surface. Means there's no ships around. Find that hard to believe. Why don't you dive? 
periscoped up. All right, well, apparently they vanished off the face of the earth, kind of a final countdown type of thing. So let's get out of here. Zeros with your 500 nautical miles, you're going to fly above I-11. There's the uh, group right there. So we hose ready to launch again. So we're going to launch our veils. And send them in. Just can't really tell if they're going for uh Florida or Guadalcanal, so I guess we'll see. This is gonna get on my nerves. And well there they are. Okay, zeros. Start heading over in that direction. Ooh. Got quite a lot of zeros, so. Okay, so that. <laughs> This is not what I wanted to see happen. I don't want my zeros to get shot down before they get over there. But there's only four of them, so hell with it. Guess we're in for uh, some air combat here. Okay, see what we can do. Got one of them. And we lost a zero. I think we got them all. Oh, there's one left. Okay, so now we are free, or we will be very soon, to attack the uh, supply convoy. So let's get this guy down, if at all possible. Come on, come on, there we go. All right. So, what do we have left? We have uh, 14 left. One, two, three, four. Let's uh, form up. Head in and line ahead. Two, three, four, warm up. One, two, three, form up. Whoop. 
<clears throat> something didn't go right here. Have you in? Two, three. Warm up. What is happening here? Form up and head in. So let's uh, pause for a second. Okay, so our closest group is this one here. Let's pick our targets. Uh, we've got one, two, uh, and we've got more than two. Yeah, it's looking like we've got one, three su supply ships. Okay, so number one. I want you to target them. Number two, target them. And these other two groups, I'm going to have you target them. All right, let's move in. First group. Move in. Blue Squadron. Let's wait till they're a little more lined up. Okay, we're going to move you in. Move you in. These guys are the furthest out for some reason. So we're just going to move them in as well. We are going in on a bombing run. After that, we'll see what kind of damages we have. We may uh, do some strafing. Walking out. Oh, dud. Dud misses. Sweet. Okay, they've all dropped. And there's a few hits. Sounds like uh, number three was hit. All in all, not the best. So we are looking... Uh, let's see, what do we have? Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen are still moving in on their bombing run. I don't really know if I want to sacrifice and uh, sacrifice my zeros doing strafing runs, but this uh, supply convoy is a uh, kind of a high priority target. So we'll have you target number three and attack. I just switched his targets. Whoops. Oh well. The rest of these guys are gonna dive down and do some strafing. We can get one of them out. That'll leave two for the next flight of uh, torpedo bombers. I think we have... Um, six of those but we also have some coming in from the carrier as well there was some damage 
Alright, so... 13, 14, 15. You can attack. Alright, here comes our first uh, strafer. It's going to be a lot of strafing here. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, pretty good, I'd say. And these other guys are strafing a sinking ship. Or they're just going to fly over. So let's select everybody. Once they get over... Uh, fuck it. You know what? Warm up. And then come back around. Target number two. Now we lost a zero. That's uh, pretty good when you have two cargo explosions. Alright, I think we're going to come in for a midship attack as well. Hit this uh, pipeline going back. Or it's just a walkway, but... Might be a little more of a successful strike if we shoot into their cargo hold. Alright. It's nice that the uh, two supply ships are kind of breaking off from the destroyers. The destroyers might be heading for uh, our submarine out here. <laughs> Not sure why they would, but... Okay. Go on an attack. No, nobody's going to attack. Oh, they're still targeting this one. Shit. Okay. Here they come. We can watch this from over here. There we go. All right. This one's, uh, holy shit. Number one suffers a magazine explosion. I wasn't even shooting at him. Number two sinking. All right, well, target number one. Go put him down, too. If he doesn't sink before we get back to him. successful strike by our fighters. I'm liking it. Really liking it. Oh, we may even go after the destroyers. There we go. <laughs> All right. Only lost two zeros. They got plenty of ammo. Um. Yeah, why not? We'll do one uh, strafe and run on this destroyer here. See how we do with that, and then go from there. There's your. Uh, your charges you were supposed to be protecting, burning and sinking. 
mission accomplished. The uh, supply convoy is done. It's just got their escorts left. Oh. Alright, that was uh, less than an effective attack, but they are taking some pretty good damage, so... No, oh, loss of zero. This destroyer is burning pretty good now. Heavy damage, no flooding. Uh, form everybody up and then have them hey you know what just have them turn around they can figure it out on the way I like the looks of that All right, turn around and attack. Three zeros down. Still got this guy out here that's on touch, so. Now we are all going to be attacking <coughs> roughly at the same time, so. Something just exploded. Number three suffered a magazine explosion. Number three, as she sinks. Oh, hang on. Where are you guys going? Huh, that's interesting. Not a lot of them decided to attack. Target. Attack. There we go. I'm gonna get all my zeros shot down doing this. Probably should have had them uh, attack this guy while we're at it. Starting to lose zeros left and right now. Let's check what the uh, report is. Critical and minor. What just happened? just happened. All my zeros just died. What? Number three suffers a magazine cargo explosion and all my zeros died. Uh, anyone know why that might have just happened?
because I don't. All my zeros are done. Well, that's interesting. I guess we'll leave. Oh, they're scuttled the ship, so the only thing that's left is this uh, one destroyer here. Okay, so uh, every single zero in my uh, formation there is now dead for some apparent reason. Uh, we've got nine torpedo bombing Kates heading into the combat area. See if we can get them in there and pick them up. And what the hell happened to all my zeros? Huh. Well, if you happen to know what happened to all my zeros, let me know, because that was just some bogus glitch or whatnot, but they all just died. And we're going to have way too much firepower on this one little destroyer, but whatever. Now I'm kind of pissed and out for blood. So, bomb him. Into oblivion. There's six of you, you should be able to do something. Where are you? There you are. Target. Target. Okay, just target and attack. Very interesting, I'd say. Very, very interesting. Alright, here they come. Let's check, uh, see what we have. D3 Veils. And nothing. And we lost a veil. But we did hit him. And that pisses me off. But we're not going to worry about it for now. Let's see what the damages are. Moderate and moderate. Take that. You can return to base. Uh, okay. I guess we'll continue to look for them. You are returning to base. And you are heading in. So these uh, float planes up here have me wondering... Uh, what may be up here? So let's want some roofs or a roof. Not going to worry about that. Have them kind of scout out in this area. See if there's anything up here. Maybe subs. So our roofs may be useless, but they will let us know if there's anything in the area. Okay, so... Three Mavises with your torpedoes. Go get them, guys. Let's finish this convoy off. Okay. Tactical. Mavis's. Let's get you down on the deck. Turn around. Target number one. Moderate damage, minor flooding. It's kind of a cool looking little destroyer, I'd say.
while our planes do their thing, let's uh, do some identification on this ship here. See what we may have. There we go. A tribal class destroyer. So we'll identify it just for shits and giggles. Bring you back a little bit. But she is maneuvering, so it's hauling ass. Should be able to get out in front of her. Do it. Move in. Let's finish this guy off. Hopefully we can get there. Drop our torpedoes. At least one of you get your torpedoes off. Are you gonna drop or not? Nope. I guess not. Okay. We have anything else heading in there in that general direction? No, we do not. So let's just have you leave and rearm. Yeah, like I said, if you uh, know why all my zeros just happen to implode all at once, uh, let me know in the comments. If you like the episode, hit that like button. I thought it was a pretty successful episode for the most part. Um, you would like to follow along through the rest of the campaign, hit that subscribe button. And you can come along with us, hit the notification bell, and you won't miss any of these exciting episodes j76ny saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very very good day at least better than our zeros <laughs>